Welcome back everybody. It is lovely just to sit and chill with the largest land mammal in the world. It really is. And they are just enjoying their breakfast. It is just so peaceful. We've got another big group just to our right that I'm hoping is going to be crossing in front of us but we have some of the younger members of the group that's just been on your screen but yeah the rest of the family group are just behind so this is probably going to be a few different family groups they often do come together during the winter and then they tend to break apart during the summer so they're going to be distantly related so you'll get the uh, in the in the you see like the unit if you like so it's just through the bushes there you've got the unit of probably mother grandmother uh, maybe a daughter and you know their offspring and then you have maybe the aunt is going to be another small family group somewhere but they're all going to be females with the offspring and then as the youngsters get older the females will either stay with the mother or they might break away and uh, have their own family unit as they get older but then you could the young males when they reach about 16 18 and it's amazing how many similarities there are between elephants and humans when you get to 16 or 18 they tend to start lagging behind and they start getting a bit boisterous and they just have a bit more distance between each other uh, their, well them and their family and eventually they, they go wandering off and they find the company of other larger males and they, that's when they actually learn how to be a, a man and uh, or a bull but during the family years they learn the basics where to find food where to find water where to find nutrients how to look after themselves which is obviously very important as well so it really always is amazing to me how similar elephants are to humans <laughs> 